All right, so we got a comment from Stephanie, and uh, it says my original comment was deleted. I didn't actually delete that, by the way. Um, but uh, what she says, what I, I originally asked was for you to discuss any experience with abusive or codependent introverts trying to force you into obsessive relationships and friendships after seeing you ostracized by community extroverts. I am an INFJ personality, which I don't know what that is, type, and have had the most trouble with bottom feeder introverts believing I am an easy target. If refused, they attempt to then ostracize you within the introvert community. Just me? Um, first and foremost, like as a female, you're probably going to get different responses if you're an introverted person. Uh, type of person um, then then I would you know there's guys who like that like even though it, it might be a pain but there's guys who like and and even women who are who will treat a, a female nicer who's introverted than they would treat a, a man just because it's just that's how our society is you know people still are attracted to them and you know they'll they'll try to get sex from you and uh they're not there's not too many women are that are trying to get sex from an introverted man but or a shy guy you know but a shy woman people like like shy women over extrovert extroverted women a lot of times you know um which it, it might not seem that way but it's it's really that way sometimes it ends up a different way just because she's in she's she has more access you know she's around and then it just ends up happening but if you're around and you you start playing doing your shy thing and you're around a particular guy he's probably going to choose you over the extroverted girl just because guys like shy girls you know so um that's probably what you're getting here and i don't know if that's uh true or not but uh i think that you know they're just there's guys who think that since when when i don't know if it's them going for narcissistic abuse here um sometimes probably yeah and sometimes it's just like if they're if they're introverted and they're a guy and they see another girl who's not a part of the group and they know that they can never get be in the the extroverted group then yeah they're gonna go for that introverted girl who's easier to get you know and uh that's just how it how it happens you know but for a guy like for me it's gonna be completely different and but then at the same time you have the same situations where it could just be a narcissist you know singling you out like oh you're you're that that hurt deer um that's not running with the the herd so i'm gonna prey on you and and then ostracize you so that you can't really get any help you're, you're completely isolated and people do this even like before they even start talking to you you know when they start trying to isolate you and they act like they're trying to be your friend people know that most people assume that okay if somebody comes at you in a hostile way right out the gate it's believable that yeah they were already ostracizing you and putting things into place so that you're isolated but when somebody comes at you on some friendly tip they're trying to be your friend they're trying to be in that obsessive relationship with you you don't think that they were already setting up the the pieces in the play before the as soon as they laid eyes on you to start getting you ostracized they start saying little things they start acting a little certain ways now if they're an introverted ostracized person themselves then they don't have as much pull you know which makes this the situation a little bit uh confusing but uh just in general um that's what people do you know they they start doing it ahead of time before they even say anything to you like not even just in case they they want it to be like they're the only people they're the only person that you trust and and can talk to so whether you reject them or not, even if you accept them, they still do it because at the end of the day, 
um, you're you're weaker because you, you basically you're you're gonna go through them and only trust them and so they they lay the groundwork and uh, that's how it's been with me what what I've noticed as far as people just trying to straight narcissistically abuse me I've noticed that they they from the start they're already trying to do do things but uh with you it might be different um you say the introverted community see I don't I, I mean some of the language that you're using it's completely different from what I would I would use so that just lets me know that you're having kind of like a different situation from what I I've experienced so th I'm gonna leave it at that you know hopefully what I said has helped um but uh, at the end of the day, you know, if 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 it's like that, then don't even accept anybody into your life, like unless you go to them. You know what I mean? And I already kind of said that in in writing, like choose them and don't let them choose you. But uh, yeah, just keep to yourself and just be okay with being lonely, you know, for a little while and. It might take a couple of months or a couple of weeks before you get to the point where you pick out the right person, but uh, they'll eventually, you know, show themselves and then, you know, you go to them. But I wouldn't let people come to me if this this is like a continued thing that keeps happening in your life. Like just start breaking that trend by not even letting people come to you and just be, you know, all about your work completely constructive don't talk to, about anything that has anything to do with your personal life just if they're not talking about their work then just you just get back to work and you know they'll get the point you know but uh